So today we're actually going to be doing a modified core workout. And what that means is that I know that for some people, and maybe for you, doing a core workout can feel a little bit intimidating and even vulnerable because it's quite possible, especially if you're a mom and you're a woman and you haven't worked out in a really long time because life happens and it gets in the way, it can be really intimidating to go on and do a full core workout. Even lying on the ground can be really uncomfortable when you don't have very much core strength. And so I want to show you that it's absolutely okay and even good for you to start small if you are just beginning to build core muscles, okay? So we're actually just going to do everything today with a chair. This is only going to be about three and a half to four minutes total. And we're going to keep it really simple. Okay, this is so basic that we're just starting to build some foundational core movements to help strengthen this. You can do this at work, like on your lunch break or even in between phone calls. You could do this right at your desk chair. You can do this at home on the couch with little ones running around. I do recommend having a harder surface just because it makes it a little bit easier and more stable than cushions. So if you're on the couch, just take the cushion off and work underneath, although you may have to get out the vacuum and clean out crumbs and stuff. If your house is like mine, you never know what you're gonna find under there. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so I'm just going to use the timer to help keep me focused on each movement as we go. So the very first one is actually going to be just sitting toward the edge of your chair so that your back is having to support itself. I want you to squeeze in with your core right here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to just lift one knee at a time toward your chest. And you're going to do a little pumping action with your arm or with your upper body toward your knee. And just really squeeze. Now, if that is too hard, I want you to just... Not, I don't want you to use your arms to push your, your upper body up, but you can put them there for support, okay? If this is very difficult, okay? The movements can be smaller, but I want you to really feel those core muscles engaging, okay? Now this, we're actually gonna work into the chest a little, but it's a combined core exercise, and then we're just gonna do a basic push-up, okay? Now, what this looks like, is you don't have to go very deep, but I want you to keep your core engaged, okay? So the idea is I want you to get into the stabilizing action as you push. I don't care how deep you go because we're not making this about your shoulders or your chest. We're making this about your abs, okay? So this can be a teeny tiny movement, but I just want you to keep that core nice and tight. Good, all right, so we're gonna stay in that position and turn that into a mountain climber. So if these are way too easy for you, but going to the floor is too hard, your other option is just to take it down a level to like a bench top or a stool, something. So the lower your level, the harder it will be, basically. So if this is still too hard, okay, and too difficult, then put your hands on the back of a couch. That'll take your level up higher. If that's still too difficult, you can even go up against a wall, okay? So just start somewhere. Get yourself inclined and try to bring those knees toward your chest and get your abs working, okay? All right, let's do, um, we're gonna do a push back, which is we're gonna come into a plank and then we're gonna push back into almost like a downward dog and then come forward and push back. And on the forward is where you're really gonna feel those abs engage as you have to push back into the down dog. So again, this can be done on the floor or a lower bench. The higher your level, the easier it will be, okay? So challenge yourself, but you don't have to kill yourself. Sometimes we think we have to do everything to burn out, right? <clears throat> and you just don't. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did in the beginning. We're gonna lift a straight leg forward. Okay, so another way you can do this is incorporate a little bit of tricep by lifting here, or you can actually add a little press into it. Okay, this is a great core workout. It is harder. All right, so if you don't feel like you can support yourself there, I want you to sit your bum on the edge of the, the chair 
and just lift, squeeze, 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 and we exhale. That's it. That's all we're gonna do. Three minutes, if you were to do that every single day, you would start within a couple of weeks to feel, and maybe even see a difference in your abs. Give it a try.